Hello and welcome to the Matrix video tutorial series. Today we will be talking about the hot sheet widget. In today's video we will be talking about what is a hot sheet and how to use it, adding custom hot sheets to your hot sheet widget, customizing the criteria of your custom hot sheets, using the hot sheets from the hot sheet widget, and how to delete hot sheets. Hot sheets are a list of changes and new listings from within a given time period. You can also use them to look up open houses that are upcoming on the system. They can be customized to better suit your needs within price ranges, districts, or sub-districts. Matrix will allow you to have up to 10 custom hot sheets on your homepage and within your hot sheet widget. The hot sheet widget is located on the front page of Matrix. It contains a list of all hot sheets that have been set up, as well as how you access the hot sheets. To create a new hot sheet, click on the Customize link in the bottom left corner of the Hot Sheets widget. This will take you to your Manage Hot Sheets screen. From here, you can view a list of all of the hot sheets that are set up, as well as create and remove hot sheets. To add a new hot sheet, click the Add button. This will bring up the Add a Hot Sheet screen where you can choose which type of hot sheet you are creating, either Hot Sheets, which will show all new listings and status changes, or Open House, which will show all upcoming open houses. You also have a dialog box where you can give your hot sheet a name. For this example, we are going to be creating a hot sheet for the Bronte Creek area of Oakville, so we will leave the hot sheet type as Hot Sheets and then name it Bronte Creek. Once you have chosen your sheet type and given it a name, click Save to add your new hot sheet. Now that we have added a new hot sheet, we can set up the criteria for our hot sheets. To set up a criteria, select the hot sheet that you would like to edit, and then click the Edit Criteria button. This will take you to a screen that is similar to a search screen in Matrix. From here, you can choose what type of change types that it displays, as well as customize the criteria of the hot sheets. This can be something like a district and subdistrict, a price range, right down to a street or type of property. Back to our example of creating a Bronte Creek hot sheet, we will select Oakville and Bronte Creek. Once you have your criteria set for your hot sheet, scroll down and click the Save button. This will then set those criteria for that hot sheet. Now that we've set up a customized hot sheet, we can go back to the home page and learn how to use the Hot Sheets widget. The Hot Sheets widget displays a list of all of the hot sheets we have set up, as well as gives us the availability to set the time period the hot sheets look for changes. To set the time period, click on the drop down box in the lower right corner of the Hot Sheets widget. This will give you all of the different options for when the hot sheets will look for changes. New only will show all of the changes since the last time that you logged in. This session will show you all of the changes during this login since the last time you ran the hot sheets. 24 hours, 3 days, and 7 days will show you changes from that much time back. And today will show you all of the changes in a midnight to midnight period. Custom allows you to set a different time period every time that you select it. For this example, we'll look at the 3 day changes. To run your hot sheets and see the changes, click on the name of the hot sheet. This will show you all of the changes for that hot sheet within that criteria. Now that we've learned how to create and use a custom hot sheet, let's do another example, this time creating an open house hot sheet. So first we can return to the home page of Matrix and then click on the Customize link in the lower left corner of the Hot Sheets widget. We then click Add to add a new sheet, and select Open House from the drop-down box. For this example, we're going to make an open house list for Milton, so we'll rename it Milton 
open houses. Once we've given it a title and selected the type, click Save. Now we'll click on the list again to make sure it's selected, and then click Edit Criteria. We'll set our criteria as the District of Milton, and then click Save. Now when we return to the home page, to run our Milton Open House search, click on the link, and we'll see any open houses coming up in Milton. Now that we've done a couple examples of how to add and create open house and hot sheets for your hot sheets widget, let's talk about how to remove a sheet. To do this, we're going to return to the home page of Matrix and then click on the Customize link in the lower left corner of Hot Sheets. To remove a hot sheet, select the hot sheet that you wish to remove, and then click the Delete button. It will give you a confirmation, click OK, and now the hot sheet has been removed. If you need to set the hot sheets back to the system defaults, simply click on the Restore System Defaults link, and then confirm when the dialog pops up. This will set you back to the default to hot sheets. That concludes this video in the Matrix video tutorial series, and now for a quick lesson recap. The first thing we learned in this video was to how to add a hot sheet to our hot sheets widget. We start by clicking the customize link located in the lower left corner of the hot sheet widget. We then click the add button on the manage hot sheets screen. This will bring up our Add a Hot Sheet window where we can select the type of hot sheet, either a Hot Sheets, which is for changes and new listings, or an Open House list for upcoming Open Houses. We then give the Hot Sheet or Open House Sheet a name, and click the Save button to add that Hot Sheet to our widget. We then learned how to customize one of the Hot Sheets that we have added. We click the Customize link on the Hot Sheet widget, select the Hot Sheet to customize, and then click the Edit Criteria button to set the criteria for that hot sheet. Once we're done setting the criteria, we click the Save button to confirm the changes. We then learned how to delete a hot sheet from our Hot Sheets widget. We click the Customize link on the Hot Sheets widget, select the hot sheet that we wish to delete, and then click the Delete button. Confirm the deletion to finalize that delete of that hot sheet. If we need to reset our hot sheets back to the system defaults, we click the Reset to System Defaults link and confirm the reset. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions about hot sheets or any other features in Matrix, please contact your friendly local board staff.